a cheap PMW charge controller versus a DC to DC step down converter. I previously did a video of a no battery solar system using a DC to DC inverter. Um, I got a comment saying why not use a PWM controller as basically the same thing using the out output on the PWM controller as your load. Um, so yeah today we're going to put this to the test. This is going to be a no battery system like the video. So we're going to test whether this connected just to the solar panel here will perform just as good as the DC to DC converter. So this is going to be a good video guys, uh, so stick around. Okay guys, I've moved in the shade a little bit. Um, this is an eco-worthy 120 watt folding solar panel kit and this came with the kit. A charge controller, various um, plugs and bits and pieces with it. Um, so yeah, I plugged in to the solar panels here and it's looking like 13.8 to 14 volt, which is That's a good sign, but what I was worried about is Whether the load is going to be regulated or not or whether it's just basically whatever voltage from the panel um, Passes through to the load. So that's what we'll be testing today All right guys, hopefully you can see this it's looking like the output without a battery is over 20 watts, 20 volts, so you can see that. So yeah, it's obviously passing through the solar voltage straight through to the load. Without the battery to pull down the voltage, then you're getting an, an unregulated output by the looks, which is, yeah, not ideal. This doesn't mean that this can't be used as a no battery solar system. As you can see here, I've got a cigarette lighter port here that's charging this power bank. We're putting in 25, 26 watts. But keep in mind that this is actually, this cigarette lighter adapter is actually a, a small DC to DC converter steps down 24 to 12 volts to 5 volts so really we're still using a DC to DC converter to make this thing work um, yeah doesn't mean it's not usable it'd probably work okay with inductive loads like this kettle where it's they're not voltage, voltage sensitive you can probably use that for this but you could also just plug that straight into a, the, this panel if you wanted as well. So, yeah, I thought that would be interesting. For my system, uh, with the 32 to 34 watt panels, volt panels, then this is a no-go. This won't work. It'll be just too high a voltage for it. And you'll still need a DC to DC converter to step down to a usable voltage so yeah it would have, have its place I suppose if you if you paired this up with a small battery then it would probably work quite nicely yeah I thought this would be interesting guys give us a like and a thumbs up and subscribe do all that cool stuff appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video